When talking about zero DT options, you may have heard the term gamma hedging being thrown around, especially in the context of evaluating potential market impact of these products. What exactly is gamma hedging and why is it relevant here? Well, conceptually, gamma refers to the change in an option's delta as the underlying asset price changes. Market makers who take the other side of customers' option trades will often take offsetting positions in the underlying stock such that they maintain what is called a delta neutral position, meaning that they are not exposed to changes in the underlying stock price. But of course, as we talked about earlier, that option delta is not a constant number. As it changes, market makers will need to readjust their hedges. That process is called gamma hedging. Now, gamma hedging is something market makers need to do with every option. So why is it particularly relevant in this case? Well, gamma grows or gets bigger as an option gets closer to expiry. So as you can imagine, with ultra short dated options such as zero DTEs, gamma risk gets to be quite substantial as an option gets closer to expiry. Therefore, the fear is that market maker risk and hedging of that risk could have be having a disproportionate impact on the underlying S&P market. However, what we find in our analysis is that because the flow in zero DTE options is so balanced between buys versus sells, the net positioning for market makers is fairly de minimis. We're talking 0.1% of the S&P daily liquidity. Hi, I'm Mandy Zhu. For more volatility insights, please subscribe to my mailing list at the link here.